Hello. So I've completed a fresh install of Windows Vista inside VirtualBox and now I'm creating these tutorials as I'm going through the different steps and processes I take to configure Windows and install different software. I have Windows completely up to date right now and now I'm ready to install an antivirus and I'll show you real quick here in the left hand lower corner you'll see the red shield here it says Windows Security Alerts. I'll double click on that Windows Security Center is going to open and it's going to show me right here I have no malware protection. So I need to go out and get some malware protection. When you run a fresh install of Windows, it doesn't come with malware protection, so you either need to go out and purchase some and install it, or go on the internet and down, download one and install it. Uh, this tutorial is going to cover going on the internet, downloading uh, an antivirus, and installing it. Uh, this is going to be part one of covering antiviruses and this video is going to be about antiviruses with real time protection. I'm going to show you a free piece of software from Microsoft called Microsoft Security Essentials. Uh, it's a great piece of software that offers great protection against uh, malware, spyware, viruses, etc. Uh, what I like most about it is it monitors your computer in real time which means it's running in the background and it's constantly checking your inbound and outbound traffic uh, watching for malicious code and it'll stop it if uh, it finds any and alert you so I'm going to type in Microsoft into the uh, search bar and then uh, you'll see here Microsoft Security Essentials comes up right away I'm going to click on Microsoft Security Essentials when the Windows web page opens in the select your version drop down menu I'm going to select 32 bit if you have a 60 bit 64 bit version of Windows uh, Vista or 7 choose the 64 bit I'm going to click free download if you're running Google you're going to get the warning box down here click keep if you're in the Internet Explorer, you'll get the yellow drop down box. Click on that and choose to download the file. When it's finished downloading, click on the link. Click continue. When the welcome page appears, click next. I'm going to accept the license and terms. When they join the customer experience improvement program, window opens. I'm going to choose not to. You can choose to join it if you'd like. I'm going to choose not to, though. I'm going to leave the box checked for if no firewall is turned on, turn on Windows Firewall, very important. I'm going to click Next. I'm going to click to install. And while it's installing, I'm going to pause the video for just a second. Okay, so when the completing the Microsoft Essentials Installation Wizard uh, window opens, I'm going to leave the box checked to scan my computer for potential threats after getting the latest updates so what it'll do is it'll update first and then it'll begin a scan of your computer I'm going to click finish I'm going to close out the web page Microsoft Security Essentials opens up and begins to update while it's updating I'm going to pause it once more okay so it's finished downloading the updates and now it's began the scan as you can see here while it's scanning we're going to go to settings in the scheduled scan window here I'm going to leave the box checked for running scheduled scan on my computer for the scan time I'm going to leave it at quick scan you can also choose full scan I'm going to leave it to scan on Sundays you can choose this uh, scan every day or any certain day of the week that you would like I'm going to change the time to noon I'm going to leave the box check for check for the latest virus and spyware definitions before running a scheduled scan. That, that one's a very important one. You want to check for you want to make sure to check it uh, for your definitions. Make sure you update your anti uh, viruses. I'm going to leave the box check for start to schedule scan only when my computer is on but not in use. And I'm also going to leave the box check for limit CPU use and stirring scan to 50% and you can change it to uh, any percentage you would like I leave it at 50% because I don't really notice any 
difference in performance so I just leave it alone in uh, default actions in the severe alert level drop down I'm going to choose the quarantine and in the high alert level drop down I'm going to choose also to quarantine and that way I can go back and look and see what it was sometimes the antiviruses will give a false positive and think something is uh, a virus when it really isn't so I like to at least go back and check before it removes it make sure it's not something that I don't want it to remove uh, for a medium alert level I'm going to choose to uh, quarantine also and for a low, le low alert level I'm going to choose to remove and then uh, I'm going to uncheck this box. This is to apply recommended actions. We've changed all the actions so we don't want it to be recommended. I'm going to go to real time protection. I'm going to leave the box checked for turn on real time protection. Again, real time protection, as you can see here, alerts you when viruses, spyware, or other potentially unwanted software attempts to install itself, itself on your computer. Um, in the select real time protection options, I'm going to leave the box checked to scan all downloads. I'm going to leave the box checked to monitor, monitor file and program activity. I'm going to leave it, or I'm going to let it uh, enable behavior monitoring. And I'm going to leave the box checked to enable network inspection systems, which will increase your protection against network based. Uh, exploits. I'm going to show you the excluded files and locations but I'm not going to add anything to it. If you had, had uh, something that you wanted to add to uh, exclude you would uh, add it here. You could also do it by file type. You can exclude processes if you'd like. In the advanced section here I'm going to leave the box check to scan archive files I'm going to check the box to scan removable drives such and that would include like your flash drives or uh, external hard drives I'm going to check the box to create a restore point uh, I think it's very important to create restore points before you do most anything um, and it's just another added uh, protection I'm going to leave the box check to allow all users to view the history uh, of all the results. And I'm going to check the box to remove quarantine files after and I'm going to choose one day because uh, I don't want them sitting in here for too long. In the Microsoft SpyNet window I'm going to choose I do not want to join uh, SpyNet. You can choose basic membership or advanced membership uh, Microsoft SpyNet here as you can see is the online community that helps you choose how to respond to potential threats. The community also helps stop the spread of new malicious software infections. And you can choose to send basic or additional information about detected software. So uh, if you wanted to do this you can. I choose not to so I'm going to leave that checked and I'm going to click save settings. I'm going to hit continue. When it's finished, I'm going to go back to home here, and you can see that it still scans about halfway through. So I'm going to pause the video once more here. Um, I only have 10 minutes per video, so I'm going to pause it, but if it happens to not finish before the time runs out on the video, if it caught anything, it asked me if I would want to remove it or not, and then uh, you would just choose to remove whatever it would find. Uh, and then that would be about it. So I'm going to pause it here and we'll see what happens. Okay, so we made it. The scan is finished. As you can see, it's uh, the scan completed on 25,961 items. When the, uh, when the screen is green with the check mark, that means everything was okay. It didn't find anything bad. Um, it's showing you right here the real time protection is on and virus and definitions or spyware definitions are up to date. 
and uh, you, as you can see over here, you, here's are your here's your choices for full scan or a custom scan, or the quick scan. And uh, that's all for Microsoft Security Essentials. Thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you uh, learned something. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And uh, have a good day.